Nathan Olivares Giles, technology reporter with the Los Angeles Times, and this is the Nook Tablet, an update from last year's Nook Color, and of course the competitor to the $199 Kindle Fire. Now, the Nook Tablet comes in at $249, while the Nook Color drops down to $199. You still have a 7 inch screen with a 1024 by 600 resolution, but the Nook Tablet has a 1 GHz Texas Instruments processor, also seen in the Fire, and you have 1 GB RAM here as opposed to the 512 megabytes found in the Fire and the Nook Color. And we have 16 gigabytes of built-in storage, which is a lot nicer than the eight gigabytes found on those other two tablets. Now, the thing here is that 15 gigabytes of that storage is dedicated to content that you buy from Barnes & Noble. That means only one gigabyte is there for you and the stuff that you get from, I don't know, Amazon or iTunes or anywhere else that you get, movies, music, all that good stuff. Now, one gigabyte isn't much for your own music and movies. You probably have more th than that on your computer right now. But Barnes & Noble has made available a micro SD card slot, so you can go buy your own card and use that. Now, this has sparked a lot of controversy on the web. A lot of people aren't too happy about it. I honestly don't like that stance at all. But Barnes & Noble says that, hey, they want you to have enough space on the device for what you get from them. Sure. Now, like the Fire and the Nook Color, you're not going to get any cameras here, you're not going to get any Bluetooth, you're not going to get 3G or 4G networks. This runs on just Wi-Fi. Again, this is a $250 tablet, not a $500 unit out there, so you're going to get what you pay for. And it is still a fine device. The build quality is really nice here. It's covered in a nice grippy plastic on the back, and it has a bit more style than the Fire, which is kind of a boring, small black rectangle. Although I don't know exactly what you would totally use this hook for, I think you'd feel a little bit silly hanging off a keychain, but nonetheless, it adds some style here. Now, of course, the user interface here is Android, highly modified. What you have here are your favorite apps or books and games, and down at the bottom, these are your most recently used items. Now, it's really, really easy to navigate and pretty straightforward, not as attractive as the operating system that the Fire is running, in my opinion, but really easy, and it's really obvious as to what you need to do here. Now there's a really cool feature here on the Nook tablet that wasn't available in the Color and isn't available on the Fire, and that's the ability to record your own voice reading children's books. If you have kids, this is pretty cool. Say you're on the road or whatever, not around your kid at that time, to read to them directly, here they can hear a recording of your voice. The elephant's child, how the elephant got in his trunk. One thing that I noticed on the Nook tablet versus the Fire was the reading experience, in my opinion, was much better. A big reason is even simple stuff like turning the pages is a lot quicker, a lot more responsive. And all in all, the operating system feels more responsive and quicker too. Now one place where the Fire really excels over the Nook tablet is in being able to buy music, movies, TV shows, that sort of stuff. There is no storefront that Barnes & Noble makes available for you. You do have Hulu, you do have Netflix, Pandora, and Moog, but that means you need a Wi-Fi connection at all times to be able to stream that content down. If you're on a plane or on a road trip, you still have to buy something and then download it, and you're probably still going to have to buy that from iTunes or Amazon or some other store because Barnes & Noble, right now, doesn't have one. So all in all, I really prefer the Nook tablet's hardware to that of the Fire, but I prefer the web services and content available from Amazon to what Barnes & Noble's offering. If I could combine this hardware with Amazon software, I think you'd have a winner.